Welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Yankees. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi, and we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Luis Severino. Oh, very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that you know, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. First pitch, 4 o'clock. Severino kicks deals. That's to third. Throw on to Rizzo. One up, one down. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. Still early in the season, but so far it has been a struggle for this team, ranking towards the bottom in both on base and runs. They do have some power. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. J.D. Davis, batting with one down, takes a strike. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. J.D. Davis leaves the yard, his second of the year, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again and now Jack Peterson the outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field swings through that one oh and one. Oh and one part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage Severino that's down and in Luis Severino when healthy he is one of the top pitchers in the American League when he's going good he's getting ahead in the count I love that his mechanics are very simple very repeatable delivery cuts and misses it's a strikeout Two outs, base is empty. Mitch Hanniger digs in now. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Severino, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. Next offering is downstairs. the pitch Hanniger tries to hold up appeal to first no swing he held up Clyde Washington with the call there the pitch got him swinging for the strikeout gassed it right by him 
But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Softly because you like the gas tank over Mr. Softies in the wind that ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Sean Manaya. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Bottom of the first. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's the third. On to first. One up, one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb. But, yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own starter on the mound. D.J. LeMayhew no, in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. One ball, no strike. One down, base is empty. There's a strike. Chris D.J. LeMayhew, given name David John LeMayhew. Some people call him by the nickname the Big Fundy. What's the Big Fundy, partner? Well, it's short for the Big Fundamental because he's so good fundamentally, both at the plate and in the field. Bounced out to short. Crawford throws the first in time. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. The white Aaron. Here comes Aaron Judge. Three for eight in the series coming in. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Judge rips that one. Holy Toledo! Aaron Judge leads the yard. His first homer of the year. It's 1-1. recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it John Carlos Stanton to the plate now first offering misses badly for ball one two outs foul ball there Here's a 1-1. This ball's chopped on the ground. Davis picks it up. Fires over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in the Bronx, here's the shortstop at the play. Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford, a player who has been a stalwart at shortstop for the San Francisco Giants, helped them win World Series in 2012 and 2014. And he comes from a line of Giants fans. His parents, Mike and Lynn, they had Giants season tickets. They took Brandon to games all the time growing up. Next pitch misses, now 2-0. Yeah, Bay Area kid who loved his San Francisco Giants and so cool 
that he was able to establish a career with this team. Got one. to the big leagues pretty quickly, called up a little bit early, and never went back down again. Crawford has played the most games at shortstop in Giants history. You could make a pretty good case he's the best shortstop in the history of the franchise. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's one away. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Look out! And it hit him. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. In there for strike one. Tied up here in the early going. Foul ball. Next pitch is downstairs. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And he chases that one. Two gone now. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. will be Michael Conforto. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Yastrzemski leads off first with two down to the inning. Next one is off the plate. One and one. Yeah. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Here comes a pitch. That one in the two, dirt. Two. two balls, two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Bounce to the left side. They get the force. That's the third out. So the Giants leave one. Score remains tied 1-1. Back in New York. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman. Anthony. With Anthony Rizzo, you almost forget he was originally drafted by the Red Sox. He debuted with the Padres, won that championship with the Cubs, and now a Yankee. Yeah, and I think one of the telltale signs early with him in terms of the guy that would have that intestinal fortitude is just the fact that he beat cancer. Labor Torres up to hit. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. Going one. Going one. Sliced hard but foul. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And now the lefty. And that's down it oh. away.
and a pitch. And that That's one missing low. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Next That's offering misses. Three and two down. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Three, two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And it goes just foul. Payoff pitch. Hard hit, right side. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next to hit, Oswaldo Cabrera. And first offering is fouled off. strike our plate umpire Earl Hendricks yeah with Hendricks boo kind of interesting he's a good consistent umpire but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other so it's really hard to know for sure but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch Ball. next one misses and a count one and two what about an umpire's height how much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And it finds its way through for a hit. Always that feels amazing it. getting a job <laughs> done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. One down. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Kyle Higashioka. Chopped left side, Davis. To second, there's one, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back now in the Bronx. This is Joey Bart. Taken high in the draft. He's had that Joey top prospect labeled Whoa. over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing. Tried to go. check his swing there. Now it appealed to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. And he deals. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first, and a quick out number one. Now back the second base, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Estrada measures 5 feet 10 inches, 185 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. First pitch oh, doesn't wow. find the zone. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. The wind of the pitch. Out towards left center. Bader sizing it up. Nice grab on the run. Two up, two down. Now it's J.D. Davis. He's already homered in this one. Davis, 29 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2014. First no, offering, and it just misses. One ball, no strike. The pitch. In 
two for a strike. And the count one and one. Next offering is fouled back. That one misses in the dirt. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. Score remains deadlocked at a one. As we go to the last of the third, and stepping in for the Yankees, Harrison Bader. Bader. The wind in the pitch. Nice. And there's a strike. Bader in his sixth season, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Bloop behind second, calls it in for the out. Now that Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. First offering misses the mark. Manaya, the tall lefty, 31 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Next pitch is outside. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. 3-1. Kicks and deals. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. You know, Boog, it's been said, these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. You know, Boog, D.J. LeMayhew is one of those guys that if you're on the other side and your pitcher's got a no-hitter, he's the last guy you want to see. Checks over to first, back safely. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. Got her for Leffa on the go. And that one sliced foul. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Come back into the mound. Boots it. But plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. And now pick number 99, Aaron Judge. He's already homered here in this one. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like... Everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Oh, one. Yo, one. Well, here's Aaron Yo, Judge, one. a former Rookie of the Year, an MVP in 2022, and, of course, Singy, the cover man for MLB The Show in 2018. Rip to third. Davis with the throw to first, and that is the inning. One left for the Yankees. Still tied. One wall. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Jock Peterson. Severino back to work. 
No ball. One He's strike. been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. The pitch. Ah. That's a strike. And the count is 0-2. Righty delivers. Up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now batting the right field. Mitch. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. His first at bat was a strikeout. Here we go, Yanks. First pitch, and he just misses. There's a strike. Next pitch is outside. Two one. Right-hander kicks deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And the righty deals. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3 2 oh, is oh, off the bad. outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he opted to go with the off speed stuff bad, on that 3 2 with the bases Brandon. empty. Close pitch, but now he's got to work out of the stretch. Here's Brandon Crawford. One's in there, 0 and 1. You know, Chris Brandon Crawford made his big league debut May 27th, 2011 at Milwaukee, and he hit a grand slam at his big league debut. No, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field and just has a nice swing path. Stays in the zone a long time. Mike Yastrzemski, the next giant to hit. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. Yeehaw. And that's in there for strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next pitch ball. inside. inside. One ball, one strike. Just no, missed. That missed. That's a ball. Hanniger off the of first with two away. Fouls one off. Two and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Just inside, and now it is filled up. So all filled up. Severino gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Kick the 3 2. In the air, left field. Cabrera moving under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for San Francisco. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 
Yeah. Tied 1 1. I do it all. If we ain't talking money, we ain't talking. It's the game. Back in the Bronx, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton, who won the National League MVP in 2017 and then was traded immediately to the New York Yankees. Yeah, the last two players to win the MVP and then be traded were both traded to the New York Yankees. Alex Rodriguez, Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. That one catches the zone, and the count one and one. Kristen, remember, John Carlos Stanton won the 2016 home run derby at Petco Park. Yeah, he made that place look like a wiffle ball field. Bounce to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. That's a pretty good pitch. Break it ball down and in, but when it's breaking in towards you, you have a lot of time to see it and just try to get on plane with it. He hit that one pretty well. No outs. Runner at first. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering is outside. Runner at first with no outs here. Hard hit left side. Dive and he's got it. Crawford tossed the second and two. What a play. Well off the bat we thought that was going to be a single not up, up. a double play. Just a great job. Dives knocks it down. Feeds it to the second baseman. Nice turn around the bag. Really great job by those two. Here's Glaber Torres. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In there for strike one. And that one off the outside edge. And the next two, pitch two. is way outside. That's and another ball. Down is full. The 3-2 is Take off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells now, you now, that now. that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One and out. Next offering is foul back. At the belt and fires. That one pushed foul. Next pitch is outside. Two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. 
And now it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. The Yanks leave one. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. Back at Yankee Stadium, Leading all set for the start of the inning. The and digging in for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. Jr. The why to kick the pitch. On the ground, right side. And that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Moved around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Michael Conforto will climb in. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Wade gets his lead at first. Nobody out. The next oh. offering misses. Ball one. One, one. Next offering is fouled back. In the dirt, no advance, good job behind the dish. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. to short snagged on a bounce Connor Falefa to second on to Rizzo at first and they get the double play now the Joey Bart the next giant to hit first time up he grounded to third pitch misses inside and that's ball one one ball, no strikes. Righty to the plate. Ball. That misses, ball. and that's ball three. Three and oh. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. Two down, nobody on. In there at the knees for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing. And the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. And up next for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. And first offering is fouled off.
corner at the knees for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt, blocked, and the runner stays where he is. The next pitch misses. Full count now. Full count. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss. Stop him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in New York, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Kyle Higashioka. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And the, the pitch a little bit low, ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Now wanted a one. One ball, one strike. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now Bader up to the plate. Pulls that one foul. Hold it one now. Right, two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And two away now. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Now it's the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. First offering, oh. and it just misses. One out. And a pitch. And downstairs. Oh. Oh. Late swing fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. We played five full, tied at one aside. Back for more from the Bronx. All set for the top of the six. Now it's JD Davis. The third base. JD. And the right hander back to work. Just missed. Ball. Movement in the Yankees pen. Clark Schmidt getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Herman warming up as well. Yes. 
and a pitch. And it's one and one. There's the swing and a miss. And now it's one and two. Davis checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Did not go. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Davis started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Ring him up, says Clyde Washington. That's a strikeout. Here's Jack Peterson. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Peterson in his ninth season, 30 years old now, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. That one's in there, 0-1. Out to center. Cabrera drifts towards it. And there's two down. Up next is Giants. The right field. Now it's going to be Mitch Hanniger, the outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And the first offering is not close. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Next pitch misses, and it's 2 and 0. Oh. 2 and count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. The 2 0 -oh is in for a strike. Swings through that one. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he held up. And he deals. And that's ball four. Oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to the get rewarded on the call with pitches near the top of the strike zone. Brandon, Brandon Crawford, the next giant to hit. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park and then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. Next offering is in for a strike. Hanniger, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering oh. is down low. One and two. Now this is in the air down the line. Cabrera towards the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. 2-3-4, two, two up in the home half of the sixth. All tied, 1-1. One, one. like it's word of mouth. I ain't new to what I'm about. Excuse me, miss, like what's your name? And welcome back, bottom of the six. DJ LeMayhew will get things going. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Manaya back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really one tough one. plays look very easy. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. 
You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Hard ground ball, base knock. Now, good to get the air on here, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. First and second, no outs. Here's a big power threat. Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch, not close. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Movement in the bullpen, Jacob Junis. Up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. Di Sclafani getting cranked up as well. The pitch. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. On the ground, could be two. It's in and out of his glove. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Definitely a lucky bounce right there, but also really great awareness at the shortstop position. He bounced on that, got a good throw off to first. I mean, that's not something you practice, but it's instincts, and it's wanting to be involved in every time the ball's put in play. Nice job by the shortstop. That one down the line. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So it's second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded. And there's a force at every base. And the play, Oswaldo Cabrera. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Kicks and deals to the right side. That ends the frame. A new arm into the game, the righty, Clark Schmidt. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. And digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski. And here it comes. Swing, and oh, the bat went flying there. Next offering misses, and the count is one and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Next one just misses. Now two and two.
fights it off you'll see another Boils that one and it remains two and two. Left hand batter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Bounce to the right side. Torres fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Up next is Giants. The first base is Lamont. And up next for the Giants, Lamont Wade Jr., one for two. First offering misses the mark. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. The wind of the pitch. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. In the air, right field, and it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And here is Michael Conforto. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the righty deals. Falling behind two and one. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Swing and a miss. Two and two. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. and a miss struck him out. Joey Bart, oh, the next Giants. Giant to hit. The catch -up. Joey Bart. Yeah. In there, and it's on one. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. The 0-1 oh. is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. 1-1. One, one. And now the count, 1-2 one two one after the swing and the miss. Next pitch oh. misses inside. Two and two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in for the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seven hitting stretch. 
Jacob Junis takes over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Jacob Junis. Kyle Higashioka now at the plate. The outfield playing in the goal with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. The pitch. That's in there. It's 0 1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. 0-2 now. Oh. Really nice what slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And a pitch. Ball. In the dirt. Tosses to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. You know, Boog, you often the think of sliders more for a horizontal movement, but Big most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. And next for New York, Harrison Bader. And that's in there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Here's your one. That misses no, that off the miss, outside the edge. And now two, two and one. one. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two now. And this is inside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. And the batter will be the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. base runner you've got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get in the scoring position a one down go to lay off that pitch down one away tie game go ahead run stands at first Next offering is fouled back. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. The one, two. Swing and a ball popped up. On the run, sends it over to first. That takes care of Connor Falefa. The battle. The third base. Now it's LeMayhew up to him. One for three. Foul. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Oh. 
That misses. And the count one and two. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. We look ahead to inning number eight, all tied 1-1. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we go to the eighth. Now it's the Giants leadoff hitter, Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Swings through that. No ball, one strike. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. A leadoff single and the go-ahead run is aboard. Up next is John. The third base hit. And up next for San Francisco, J.D. Davis. He's already homered in this game. And it's fouled away. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Next offering is downstairs. Right-hander kicks, deals. That missed inside. Ball two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The pitch. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. I think he kind of leaned into that one. Peterson in the box now. Takes strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. First and second here, no outs. That's out to center field. Bader should have it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. The corners are in. Middle infield playing back for the double play. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And a foul ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the 0-1. That one ripped, but foul. Runners are at the corners, one away. The next and offering it, misses. The count now two and two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. 
Brandon Crawford, the next giant to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Estrada at third. Davis at first. Two out of the inning. Next one misses. And the count even one and one. Left hand hitter waits. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In comes the run from third. It's 2-1. It only gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. First and second, two down. The one one. Good eye right there. Two on, two outs. That's inside. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. But damage control right there. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Taylor Rogers into the game. This is his first appearance of the season. You're a great Now, now. Here is Aaron Judge, known for his late inning heroics. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And he deals. Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Camilo Doval, the young right-hander, up and throwing. The lefty the one on. And now oh. two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Ripped but it curls foul. <laughs> two and one on Judge. And Judge spoils that one. Comes a 2-2. And just misses with that one. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a tapper. Save! It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging ball. 
Substitution now at first base. Pinch running here. Oswald Peraza. Here's Stanton now. Now snap throw to first. Peraza back on a dive. Back over to first, and he's back again. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch is outside. And now the lefty. And there's a the ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. Making a move at first, coming in as the pinch runner, Aaron Hicks. First and second, no outs. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. In there for strike one. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. A little roller up along first. Over to Crawford. On to first double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. So, Luke Jackson gets the call. And we all know about his slider. It's just a filthy man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's Glaber Torres. Out to short. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Maybe just a little lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Guys are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. Righty delivers. That one missed. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. In 
for a strike. Now it's three and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nod. That at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Oh, they got Shioka. The next day hit takes high for ball one. comes a pitch and that one fouled off uh, next yeah. offering is in for a strike well they kept him pretty quiet in this series still doesn't have a knock I know you want to get that first knock out of the way, maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Through eight full, we are tied 2-2. Now into the game, Oswald Peraza. He takes over and right. Now playing right. Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the ninth. And digging in for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. The why to kick the pitch. Ah, that hit him. You hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. You just can't afford to make these kind of mistakes this late in the ball game. You need to make the offense run everything down the stretch. And that right there was just a freebie. Go ahead, run on base. Michael Conforto will hit next. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Swing and a miss. The throw, tag, and he's out. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. The line and the pitch. In the air to left center. Bader racing after it. That one hops against the fence. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Just a huge at bat right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Joey Bart, the next giant to hit. There and it's own one. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Next pitch is inside, and now it's even one and one.
And here it comes. A little bit low. That misses the zone. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. The 3-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He will score and they take the lead. Three to two. In safely with a double, his second of the day. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. New pitcher for the Yankees, Jonathan Loisica. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. in there 0 and 1 sing you some Jonathan Loisaga nuggets he hails from Nicaragua it's not a place that's produced a lot of big leaguers Marvin Bernard Dennis Martinez among the few runner leads away at second ground ball right side it's through for a hit stop sign goes up at third runners at the corners with one out that's now three hits in a row for the offense. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and let the ball get deep. And now, J.D. Davis. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Yeah, and he's quietly become a cog in the Yankees' bullpen. Good, firm velocity. A guy that's very consistent with his mechanics repeating that delivery. The 1-0. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Two on, one out. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one on the first double play, and that's the inning. Giants get a run on the RBI double. It's now a three-two ball game. You're dialed into the show. This is what I'm made for. Every single moment that I'm living, I can feel it on the stage floor. You don't know the half of half of what I've given to make it up to this level every day. Righty reliever out of the pen, Camilo Doval. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So coming into the game now on defense, Austin Slater. He takes over as the new first baseman. So digging in, Harrison Bader. Yeah, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. And a pitch. Misses inside. And that is ball one. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a foul ball. On the ground right side. Toss to Slater. One out, bottom of the ninth. Now that's your stop. Back 
Going to the top of the lineup and stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Yankees with only one out remaining. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. LeMayhew stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. And a foul ball. Next pitch misses way outside. The tying run at the plate. And another ball. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. Two outs. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Two strikes to count. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So they're down to their final out. And next for New York, Oswald Peraza. First pitch just misses. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. And the 1 0. Swings through that one for strike one, one. one. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Aaron Hicks entered as a pinch runner so this is his first plate appearance and it comes here in the ninth in there for strike one yeah I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here just to remind him focus on the hitter don't worry about anything else two outs both the tying and winning runs are on fall off foul well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Going two now. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No, he held up. Is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss. 
The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. But at home, you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. First for the victorious Giants, three runs on nine hits, one error, they left nine men on base. For the Yankees, two runs, nine hits, no error, they left 12 men on base. Time of small game, two hours and 45 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,000.